Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to identify and avoid common financial scams. Scammers are always coming up with new ways to steal our money and personal information, so it's important to stay informed and know how to protect yourself. Let's get started. Phishing Scams One of the most common types of financial scams is phishing. Phishing scams typically involve fake emails or messages that appear to come from legitimate companies, banks, or government agencies. These messages often ask you to provide sensitive information, such as your username, password, or credit card details. To avoid phishing scams, always double-check the sender's email address and avoid clicking on links in suspicious messages. Legitimate companies and agencies will never ask you to provide sensitive information over email, so be wary of any message that asks you to do so. Fake Lottery Winnings Another common scam is fake lottery winnings. Scammers may contact you claiming that you've won a large sum of money in a lottery or sweepstakes. They may ask you to pay a fee or provide personal information in order to claim your prize. To avoid falling for this scam, remember that legitimate lotteries and sweepstakes never require payment or personal information to claim a prize. If you're ever unsure about whether a prize is legitimate, do some research or contact the company directly to confirm. Investment Fraud Investment fraud involves fake investment opportunities that promise high returns with little or no risk. These scams may come in the form of unsolicited phone calls, emails, or social media messages. To avoid investment fraud, always do your research before investing and never invest in anything that sounds too good to be true. Legitimate investments come with risk, so be wary of anyone who promises guaranteed returns. Online Shopping Scams Online shopping scams involve fake websites that mimic legitimate retailers in order to steal your personal and financial information. To avoid online shopping scams, always shop on secure websites that use encryption to protect your data, and be wary of deals that seem too good to be true. When shopping online, it's also a good idea to use a credit card rather than a debit card. Credit cards offer more fraud protection, and if your information is stolen, you won't be liable for any unauthorized charges. Charity Scams Finally, there are charity scams, which involve fake charities that solicit donations for a good cause but keep the money for themselves. To avoid charity scams, always research the charity before donating and donate directly to the charity's website or by check, rather than through a third-party fundraiser. If you're ever unsure about whether a charity is legitimate, you can use websites like Charity Navigator to verify their legitimacy. Conclusion And that's it for today's video on how to identify and avoid common financial scams. Remember to stay vigilant and always be wary of anyone asking for your personal or financial information. If you ever encounter a scam, report it to the Federal Trade Commission or your local law enforcement agency. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching our video on how to avoid common financial scams. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more great content. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below, we'd love to hear from you. And remember, the best defense against financial scams is knowledge, so be sure to share this video with your friends and family to help them stay protected too. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.